how to set up the PU27 as they come out of the box. Uh, basically, when it's stopped like this, battery voltage here, time and day here, uh, now it's gone to sleep. Push either left or right to wake the screen. Push either left or right to go into the settings. Then you have these menus, and I will go into settings. And this will give you the, at the moment it's in by power mode, which is a manual power setting. You've got by T air, which is with the uh, optional air temperature sensor. By T panel, by temperature, with the control from the sensor inside this panel. And by temperature at the heater. Now on this particular one, I'm going to set it by heater. And the other thing I'm going to do is activate ventilation so if it goes above the set point it will stop the burner uh, and that's that so now uh, so then it'll restart again when the temperature lowers again so now I will push that square button to memorize it now I'll go back in the other setting I change is in options I tend to turn the key lighting off because I don't like it and it can upset the temperature a little bit uh, on the display uh, and I also put for the case of testing and running uh, for so that it doesn't keep going to sleep put during run on and then the screen will stay on the whole time it's running square button to memorize it again and then one thing to remember is short press only to start it if you do a long press it will do this which goes into ventilation which is fan only that's fan only, faster, slower, to go out, short press, it will now shut down, and now short press, and it will start again, now it will run in heating, temperature set point here, and the actual temperature here, by temperature heater, so it's measuring the temperature at the heater, and that's it really, to stop it, quick press and it will stop again.